Hey y'all, so Sci-Fi Funk asked me this question. He wanted to know how I came back from that major setback I talked about in my video about So You Want Publicity. What happened was very briefly, I had, you know, my second album came out, a reviewer for a very important magazine got a copy of the album from me in advance and he wrote a review and called it the record of the year. We were very excited, but the record label and my publicist released it to the press before that magazine went to press. And when that magazine was literally on press, the publisher found out and not only pulled the article saying that we had the record of the year, but put in a negative review, and we didn't find out about it until the magazine hit the press, and boy, was that devastating and disappointing. So how did we deal with that? Well, I went on a massive <laughs> publicity tour. I mean, my, pub my, you know, my publicist never really lived up to it, which is why I didn't work with that publicist anymore, and the record label blamed me and she blamed me. Everybody blames each other in this business. It's just like everything else. We decided that the best way to do it was to take the whole band, and this is when I lived in New York still, uh, I think this was 97, and we took the whole band and we came down to Nashville for a week, a week straight. We got a hotel room and we just played every radio station within like a 300 mile radius. We did interviews nonstop, round the clock, one right after another. I met with all kinds of people, many people I'm still friends with, It was that was the one great benefit of it and we just hoofed it for a week in Nashville and met with anybody that would have us and then we played live on the radio a few times and then we went back to New York and did the same thing in New York and we did some remote things in Los Angeles and then we hit the road. We hit the road for like a year straight. And the record was very successful. The record ended up doing very well. I don't think it reached the heights that the label wanted, but remember, you know, major labels, they want millions of records, so like tens of thousands means nothing to them, at least back then. Now it means something. But still, we, we kept ourselves afloat. So that's what we did. We just said, okay, we've got to make up for this. We have to basically go on a goodwill tour and prove to everybody that we are good and just hit it. And we did pretty well. We did pretty well. Every other review we got for the record was excellent. And the radio people were very nice. We were on the Americana charts. And we had a single that got to number 34 on the country charts. So there you go. Thanks for asking, Sci-Fi Funk. I appreciate it. But sometimes when you have mishaps like this, and sometimes they're out of your control, you just got to go full bore ahead and pretend it didn't happen and just kick butt, which is my basic theme always.